Michigan's J.U. Chesson had a pair of receiving touchdowns in the Wolverines' weekend win over Minnesota. Michigan wideout now kind enough to join us on BTN Live. J.U., let's go back to the last seconds of that game. The offense has done all that it could. You are on the sidelines watching, hoping your defense holds the Gophers. What were those final moments like for you guys? It, I mean, it's very stressful just watching our defense out there on the field. We, uh, they, they've been doing a terrific job all season. And um, uh, actually, Jared Wilson came up to me before our uh, the the game-winning touchdown, and he just told us we need we need you guys, we need you guys so badly. And I just had so much faith in them uh, those final few seconds that they they've been practicing goal line defense, you know, uh, all week long. And I was confident they'd execute it. And uh, when they stuffed uh, their quarterback, who's a very good quarterback. Uh, I was just so happy because uh, that means we got the jug back. Well, a year ago, a very different story as Minnesota got to hoist the jug. For those of you who had to watch that, how much sweeter did this victory taste? It was awesome because, uh, I mean, I think it was set up uh, perfectly. We, we came here on a, on a great night of football. Uh, we did what we needed to do. Um, I believe uh, DeMario and... Uh, Another one of the teammates got, got their hands on the jug first and brought it back out to the field. And um, Coach Harbaugh told us to, when we got the jug, just go celebrate when we, when we get back in the locker room because we're a very respectable opponent. J.U., your first touchdown in this game came from the arm of Jake Rudock. Then he left with injury. Your yeah. second came from backup Wilton Spate. How would you assess how Wilton played in a role that most folks did not expect him to play on Saturday night? Uh, I think Wilton did an incredible job, especially coming in um, on a on mo moment's notice like that and uh, really a fluke accident that really what happened to Jake. Um, I mean, uh, I, re I really think he's going to be okay. Hopefully he, he uh, kind of comes back fa uh, swiftly. Uh, but when Wilton stepped in there, he didn't waver. He didn't flinch. Um, I was very proud of him because he, he got the g line and all the guys ready to go. And uh, when he threw the ball to me, he just told me to make plays, and that's what we were supposed to do. J.U., how much, if at all, did the offense or the offensive philosophy change when Jake went out and Wilton came in? Uh, it didn't, actually, because um, I think I always like to say the expectation is in the, the position. Uh, that's kind of what we're coached here at Michigan. And so um, we have a system, a great system going. Coach Harbaugh has an incredible system for us. And so um, we all practice and train under that same system, all have the same coaches, and we're all taught the same plays. And... Uh, when it came down to it, Wilton, um, the last play that he scored on, uh, that's the one he preferred. And, I mean, the c coverage was perfect for that. And he threw it up there, and the receiver went up and made the play. Just a few more minutes with Michigan wide receiver J.U. Chesson here on BTN Live. Six and two through eight games. From the outside, everyone's saying you guys are exceeding expectations. What about inside the locker room? How does reality compare with what you guys expected to do in 2015? Uh, so I think this goes back to um, especially when uh, right when Coach Harbaugh was uh, hired to be our head coach and all throughout January and February and then all along throughout the, the summer workouts because um, the shared time and shared suffering is kind of what really has brought this team together and uh, Coach Harbaugh kind of putting in perspective of how possible our dreams really are and as we kind of go through the season and we kind of go through uh, all the all the hard work and stuff is starting to pay off and we're starting to see that but he, uh, he always tells us stay hungry because uh, there's, there's a, lot, a lot of stuff out there that we need to do. And so um, we can't be content, but at the same time, we, we have to have a sense of confidence about ourselves and a swagger that we'll be able to uh, get the job done. And four big games left to play in November. At the end of the regular season, J.U., for you and for the team, what would make the 2015 regular season a success? Uh, Big Ten Championship. Um, it's always the expectation, uh, and it will always be the expectation. And so that's what we're shooting for year in and year out. Michigan wide receiver J.U. Chesson. Well said, my friend. We truly appreciate the time, and best of luck the rest of the year. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.